Hey YouTube, it's Mr. Nor14 and today we're going to talk about what is the best way in 2021 to experience to experience Adobe Atmos movie or TV show. Okay? In 2021, what is what is the best way? Which streaming service is the best? And basically, which device is the best to stream all this on? Okay? So today I'm going to start out at the Adobe Atmos site www.com and what is the best way to experience Adobe Atmos today in 2021 is basically through a blu-ray disc why because everything is on that blu-ray disc from the 4k to 60 hertz the HDR if it is it Adobe Vision or is it HDR is it Adobe Atmos is it DTSX all that is going to be on the Blu-ray disc. Okay? So that's the easiest way, the simplest way, if you wanted to experience Adobe Atmos at its best, is just to get a Blu-ray disc, 4K or not. That's the best way. But let's say, hey, you're not in the getting disc anymore. You like the streaming services and stuff like that. What is the best way? How do I enjoy these movies? Well, first thing you want to start off, you want to know what movies are playing in what type of format. Okay, is it DTSX or is it Dolby Atmos? Most of the movies that are coming out now, most of the TV shows are all coded for Dolby Atmos because right now that's the number one 3D audio format. So if you wanted to know, you would just simply go to Dolby.com and it'll tell you all the latest movies, even the old movies that are out on Dolby Atmos. So that way you'll know if it's Dolby Atmos, that way you also know if it's uh, DTXX. Okay, which D, uh, which uh, Adobe, which which 3D format is that uh, Blu-ray or that disc or that movie's coming out on? Okay, so let's go to Adobe.com and let's just view all here. So this is going to tell you, hey, look, these are all the ways you can stream and view Adobe Atmos movies. It's going to tell you which ones are coming out how they are formatted to play are they in true hd or in they are they in dtsx okay so as you can see it's also going to tell you the streaming services that support adobe atmos as you can see netflix voodoo disney plus apple tv all these are enabled apps and devices that play Adobe Atmos, you got Amazon Fire, you got the Apple TV device, you got the consoles, the Xbox, the PS5, you even got TVs from LG and TLC that got everything in there. And basically, you just go to Adobe.com and Adobe.com will give you the lay of the land and even allow you to sample and experience Adobe Atmos. Okay, so like I said, the best way to view it is with a Blu-ray uh, once for all. And, you know, that's the best way to do it if you want to hear Adobe Atmos. So what streaming service is the best? Is it Prime? Is it Amazon? Is it Apple TV, Netflix, Vudu, Disney Plus? Well, I'm just going to go straight to it and tell you that Netflix is the best way to experience Adobe Atmos. And I say that for me because ever since I've had Adobe Atmos since 2018, okay, I've never had any problems with Netflix and getting Adobe Atmos or getting 4K playback, okay? All these other things, I've had problems with Voodoo. I've had problems with Disney+. Plus. I've had problems with Amazon. I've had problems with Apple TV. All those formats, I've had an issue with. Netflix has, only been, has always been steady and simple to use. So, that would be the best app, I would say, for you. But what is the best device? Okay, is it a Fire TV? Wouldn't say a Fire TV owned one. Really didn't like it. It was really on and off as it worked right. And Apple kind of didn't work all the time with Netflix. It didn't work all the time with Prime Video. Had TVs and stuff like that. But TV manufacturers are so slow to update 
to upgrade, to make their systems more, to work better with these apps and with these devices. Just had terrible times at this, but the only thing that paid off and that always worked, folks, was a flat out gaming console. As you can see, my Xbox One X has always given me great sound, okay, as far as playing back Dolby Atmos. It was very simple, very easy to use, and just easy to set up. I mean, it wasn't anything hard about it. They even had directions, told me exactly what to do, okay? And I've been using my Xbox Series X since 2018, since I first got my sound bar there to experience Dolby Atmos. Okay, so let's go into uh, the Dolby Atmos app here. And we'll give it a gander and a look here so that you can see exactly how everything looks. Okay, and how it tells you what you're actually in. So if you go here and you go here, it tells you that Dolby Atmos for home theater is enabled. It's there. It's ready to go. There is no issues with it. Also, another thing that why I feel that the councils are the best is because they update them on a regular basis, at least four times a year with some of the best stuff, you know, that you need to see and that you need to have. I mean, it's just, it's just so easy. As you can see here, you go in here, you set it up, you go to bits, stream you get Dolby Atmos for home voila once you do that you you go into the app this app here and then you you click on it and say I'm ready to use it then it sets it up it's that easy that easy people and this is how you know that you're in Dolby Atmos it's going to always let you know that it's in Dolby Atmos so let's take a look here and see what you can do. So for instance, I, I have my remote here. As you can see, this is my soundbar remote. Now I can go in and I can hit the info button and it'll give me a verbal cue to let me know if it's in Dolby Atmos. So just give me a second here while I pull it up. So it's gonna say info. And then EMI in Dolby Atmos, Dolby M A T. So just that simple, and you see that red, it's a green little light. And I don't know if you can see it, but uh, we're gonna try that again. I'm gonna zoom. So pardon me for a second as I get this to zoom. Now look at the bottom left of the sound bar. I'm gonna hit that again to tell us what, what it's in. You're going to see a green light. Hold on. Just got it. HDMI in. Dolby Atmos. Dolby MAT. See, it's a green light that's showing right to the right of it. You really can't tell what color it is here. So I do apologize, but it's a green light. Whenever you see that green light, you know this sound bar is playing in Dolby Atmos, okay? And that means it's playing in 3D audio. I can get it to verbally give me a cue, or I see that green light when I'm watching a, a movie or a Blu-ray or anything. So let's just go into Netflix. Now, as you can see, it's going to show, and Netflix is going to show an HDR on the top right corner there and then on the bottom you see that green light on the sound bar that tells me that not only is Netflix doing it in HDR but it's also playing in Dolby Atmos and this is what you folks got to understand this is how easy it is when you're using these consoles and these consoles are updated four times a year on a regular to give you the best Dolby Atmos sound and give you the best drivers 
to to uh, watch these shows in. So now you see I'm in Adobe Atmos. You saw the verbal cues, and this is why I say councils are the best. Okay, this is why they're the best. You can use anything. So I can just go in here, go home, and say, Hey, I want to check out Adobe Atmos and Prime Video. So I'm gonna go to Prime, and we'll see how Prime video sets this up because like I said the Xbox was one of the first systems to start to accept to play Dolby Atmos. I say also you can get a PS5. It'll do the same thing but I just like the Xbox because it just works better. Okay because it was one of the first to adopt 3D audio and they've been updating ever since. Okay, so I don't know what's taking so long with uh, Amazon Video. It usually don't take this long. But, like I said, that's just some of the finicky things that happen when you're working with all this software and hardware. Okay, wait a full minute, then give it another try. So, we're having some issues with that. Let's see if we can get it working this time. Okay, YouTube, we back. Now, as you can see, I had a little problem with Prime Video. And like I said, that's why I prefer Netflix over all the other streaming service because I have the less, less issues with Prime Video. Okay, so let's go into Prime. And let's check it out so that you can see what it looks like when it's in 4K, when it's in... Uh, Adobe Atmos mode and everything. Like I said, what you need to do is look at the sound bar. You're going to see a little green button. And I don't know if you can see a little green light. I don't know if you can see it that clear, but you'll see two lights down at the bottom just to reassure you that it is green. Okay, so you're going to see an HDR symbol to let you know it's in 4K HDR and everything like that. So the first thing you notice when you, you open up Prime Video is that it's going to have a UH, UHD on top of everything. Okay, and what that means is that it's, it does it in 4K, you know, ultra high definition. And you're also going to see the screen blackout. And it's going to come back in and it's going to let you know you're in 4K. It's also going to let you know that you're in Dolby Atmos. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to click on the expanse. Now, this is a UHD. You're going to see the screen in a few seconds black out. And it's going to come back on. And then you're going to see HDR at the top screen. And then you're going to see a little green button on the sound bar. So that's letting you know not only is Amazon Prime in 4K UHD, but it's also playing in Dolby Atmos. And again, there is a way to make sure because I can either go into my app or I can make the sound bar. Tell us if it's in Dolby Atmos. HDMI in. Dolby Atmos. Dolby M-A-T. Okay, so as you can see, Prime is in 4K. UHD is playing at 60 hertz per second. Another way we can do that is if we just hit on the TV there. It says 4K, 60 hertz. HDR 10 and then don't worry about the PCM that's the sound it's not really the sound is going through the Xbox not the TV because the TV doesn't support Dolby Atmos so you have to use a sound bar and like a Roku TV or an Xbox One X or something you know go to my videos to uh, explain to you the things you need to get Dolby Atmos in 4k through a sound bar okay so it's all there but uh this I just wanted to tell you, that's why Prime is my second favorite. You know, Disney Plus is okay, uh, uh, Voodoo is okay, all these other things are okay, but they're not as stable. Uh, you know that the, the uh, Disney Plus app is new, so it still has issues. Apple TV, just not a fan of it I still have tons of issues with that device okay but like I said the best system to use it on okay it's not a Apple TV or a Fire TV it's going to be one of the gaming consoles 
Okay, and the reason why it's going to be one of the gaming consoles, either a PS5 or an Xbox One X or an Xbox Series X or a PS5, is because, for one, they come with a Blu-ray player. If you want the best Dolby Atmos playback, the best picture, the first thing you, first choice is always a Blu-ray, a 4K Blu-ray or a 1080p Blu-ray. You're going to get the best sound and the best look out of that. Also, with these consoles, they're updated. The Xbox, the one that I prefer and has my recommendation, is updated at least four times a year. Okay, and so you know you're going to get the best Kodaks and everything working with the Xbox. Okay? Also, what makes these consoles so much better is that they have all the apps already there. You know, they're easily to get, like the Plex app here. Plex would be my, my I would have to say, uh, for streaming, it would be Netflix, Plex, and then Prime Video. Okay? The reason why I love uh, Plex is because it, it lets you know. If you go into these, it'll let you know what audio it is. Okay? So... It'll tell you right off the back if you got Dolby Atmos. You see that? It's saying, it's saying right there, English, True HD. Whenever you see True HD, that's the sign that that's Dolby Atmos. Okay? But the majority of movies, uh, let's see here. Let's go here, are in the free stuff, which is DTSX. So if you see here. That right there say English DTS HDMA 5.1. That's just basically telling you that it's in DTXX. That's the 3D audio format it's in. You're going to find a lot more movies in that format than you find in the True HD, but that's steadily changing in 2021 because basically Dolby Atmos is the front runner. Okay? So. For apps, like I said, Netflix, Prime Video, and then, I mean, Plex, and then Prime Video are the best apps to experience Dolby Atmos movies, and Dolby Atmos at its best, okay? Uh, for, con uh, for devices, like I said, it'll be the consoles, because they come with uh, 4K Blu-ray players, you know, just in case you want to go old school and uh, go back to the disc, which is always the best. They get updated every four years. I mean, they're easily to control. You getting, also you getting gaming with it. You're getting 4K gaming. For instance, you go in here and you want to play a game. Not only are you getting Dolby Atmos, but you also getting HDR. You know, you can't, you can't beat that. You know, not only are you getting gaming, not only are you getting getting uh movies and everything like that you just it's just a, a so much stuff that's on a console that you can enjoy you can even rent movies through the consoles okay from microsoft from sony and they usually have discounts way better discounts than you would get on voodoo or prime or something like that way better discounts so to sum it all up the best way to experience, in my opinion, Dolby Atmos movies, when you're talking about an app, it would be Netflix. Never have any issues with Netflix. Every time I turn it on, it works. I get 4K HDR at 60 hertz, and I also, besides that, get my Dolby Atmos. Best device is the game consoles yes they're a little more expensive but right now you can go get an xbox one s with a 4k blu-ray player or an xbox one x you know for about 300 or some dollars like that and you can have you know all these services because microsoft is going to keep supporting these things for years to come and you can just turn them into media centers you know and enjoy all your media media stuff because they pretty much work with everything the councils there's nothing they will not work with any video player from vlc to plex 
It's all on there. You don't have to look. You just go into the store, put them on your main screen, and you got Netflix. You got Prime. You got Voodoo. You got Disney Plus. You got Apple TV. You have all of that. Okay? So that's why consoles are the best. And on top of that, these consoles can do the new ones, the X and S, the X can do 8K gaming. So when it's time, an 8K movie watching, when they start getting out 8Ks, you will have a system that can even play 8K movies. Okay? So, like I said, the consoles are always updated. Microsoft updates every four times a year. So you know you're going to have the best Kodaks and your apps and everything are going to work. So this is Mr. Noor. 14. I hope you enjoyed what I talked about. If you did, just put a like on there. And if you need me to look at more stuff for you, just let me know. It's Mr. North 14. Peace out.